The coolest thing that I learned by educating myself in finance was that there are investments you can make that pay you money. I know this sounds stupid, okay? I know this sounds ridiculous, like you, you didn't know that? That anyone who is at all versed in finance just laugh at me right now. But growing up, I had no idea that these kinds of vehicles existed. Um, you buy ownership in a company or a fund, an ETF, an index fund, uh, whatever it is, every quarter or month, depending on what you bought, you get sent money <laughs> for owning that thing. This blew my little poverty-stricken mind when I learned this. I had no idea. That's the coolest thing I've ever heard. You, <laughs> Here's how you make money in my head before I learned about these things. You work for someone else and they pay you for the work you do. That's it. You could also, you know, go do crime in whatever capacity and get money that way. You could find money on the street. Um, you could try to print money. That could have really bad consequences. And no one at the store ever accepts my bills printed on basic office paper. I don't know why. Uh, I had no idea that you could just have ownership of something and it will send, you get money for that. That, that changed my mind about so many things. That completely opened my eyes to a new world of possibility. And again, I know this might sound ridiculous. <laughs> like some of you already know this or it just seems obvious to you. Like, yeah, oh, I, I bought this income ETF and it, it pays you every month. Like, yeah, I, I get it that it's common knowledge to you, but this blew my mind in the last three years learning this. I'm 35. I thought investing was about, I guess, total return. I, I guess that's, that's how I thought about it. I, oh, well, I don't have nearly enough money to even think about investing because I'm trying to make rent or buy food or anything like that. Uh, well, first of all, you, you need like $5, I think now, with some of these uh, different brokerages and, and apps you can use for investing. I think with Acorns, it takes um, the difference in, in like the nearest dollar for spending that you make, and then they invest that, you know? So it takes very little money to even get started. Um, and so I was just thinking of it like you, you put money in to the stock market, and that money grows over time, and then you... Just live off of that pile of cash that's grown over the last, I don't know, one to 40 years, whatever it is. I didn't know you could buy something that puts money in your mailbox every month, every quarter. That, that was a game changer for me. Now, are these kinds of vehicles good for everyone? Maybe, maybe not. Personal finance is just that. It's personal. I can't tell you what's good for you. I can't tell you what's good for me and then say it's going to be good for you. It depends on your specific circumstance, okay? Will a lot of these income vehicles underperform their underlying asset, depending on how the fund is structured? Probably. Will total return be less over long enough time periods than, say, if you bought just the S&P 500? Probably. I'm sure. Go do your own research. Go figure out what's right for you. Don't just listen to internet personalities or anyone on the internet for that matter. Okay. Don't listen to us. Make your own financial decisions. Okay. I'm just sharing something that I didn't even know was possible. It's like before you learn stuff as a kid, you know, my kids ask me questions all the time. They're like, why is this like this? How does this work? What's going on with this thing? And they don't know that before they've learned it, right? I didn't know that you could just open a brokerage account and put in $100 and, and like get money from, from that. <laughs> so yeah, if you've never heard of income investing at all, you've never heard of it, there's going to be haters over here. There's going to be supporters over here. Everyone's got a different opinion. There's math all over the place talking about it's good, it's bad, it's all that jazz. Sure. Just know it's out there. <laughs> there are other avenues to make money outside of just a job or finding it in the street or printing it or crime. <laughs> so <laughs> there's other ways to get money.
we should talk about that more. There's so much to cover in finance. It's crazy. This is one of my hyper fixations. This is like, I, I adore personal finance. I adore economics. I would love to talk about this more. And I just might. But I, there's going to be a lot of caveats like I made earlier. Don't listen to me. Okay? <laughs> Go look this up. Go find something that works for you. Go see, you know, maybe there's something that you would find interesting in there. Because, yeah, just wanted to spread that around. Let you know that, hey, other things exist. Other things are possible. I had no idea. Okay, bye.